What is going on, people? It's your friendly neighborhood B Monstrosity here for my first official hardcore boot camp video. If you haven't seen the intro, this is basically just a series devised to helping out my fellow hardcore player uh, for those that are, you know, novices, intermediates, trying to help them uh, gain their skill level up a little bit with all the knowledge that I have. Okay, uh, this video will be de devoted to how to choose your gun, how to choose the correct gun for your playing style, how to choose the correct gun for the map, uh, things of this nature. Now, one thing that I highly suggest is you come down here to combat record, go over to weapons, okay? Uh, look at a couple things in here. Look at the kill-death ratio of the guns that you've played with, and also accuracy would be another thing that you might want to look at. But two things you're doing in here. First of all, you're looking at which guns that you do well with, all right? So you obviously see that on my Peacekeeper, I got a kill-death ratio of 1.65. So I do very well with that gun. All right. Now, I've always said kill-death ratio doesn't mean a fuck to me. But uh, for this example right here, this gives you just kind of a broad understanding of which guns you do well with and which guns that you don't. Okay, now another thing that you want to look at is what type of gun are you doing well with here. Be sure to check the assault rifles. Look how you do with those. I mean, I do pretty well with assault rifles. And then look at some machine guns. Are you more of an assault rifle type of player or are you more of a machine uh, submachine gun type of player? You know, it's really two different types of players. I see a lot of times uh, assault rifle type of players will be playing with submachine guns and vice versa. Now, what's the difference between these two types of cats? Well, the assault rifle players are more generally methodical. Uh, they don't like running up into the enemy spawn. They kind of take it slow. They think about stuff before they do it. And some machine gunners are kind of like, you know, shoot first, ask questions later, run up in the enemy spawn. I'm going to use my reaction time against you instead of my wits. Okay? Now, it, you know, not to say that you don't have wits, but I'm just saying, in a general sense, you know, you use more of reaction time with some machine guns and you more use more of a tactical approach with assault rifles. Now, for sake of keeping this video short and not two hours long, I'm going to go through the, the guns real quick. MP7, very inaccurate, but it's very good for real up-close quarters maps. Okay, I, I really do like this. It will drop a full pretty quickly, but it is very inaccurate. Put it on close quarters maps, okay? Same thing with the PDW. Got a high clip, but it is inaccurate as fuck at medium to long ranges, okay? But I still love this gun. And some people say it's overpowered. That's bullshit. If you've ever tried to shoot somebody from mid-range, you will understand that this thing is not exactly overpowered. Vector, it's kind of dropping off from my top spot. I mean, it's going down because the amount of bullets it takes to kill somebody. Yes, it's accurate as fuck, but uh, I used to love this gun, but it's just kind of dropping off from my favorites list. Uh, I still like it, but... It, there's just other guns in this game that seem to do better for me, at least. MSMC, same way. As soon as they nerfed it, you know, it went all to hell. It's not worth the shit anymore because it's not accurate as it was uh, whenever the game first came out. All right? TCOM, this has really dropped off from me. It's amazing how somebody will take a three-round burst and still be walking. So it's very underpowered. And I'm not a big fan of it, although it's still very accurate, okay? A lot of people like putting the uh, fully auto selector switch on it, which is still pretty underpowered for me. Same way with the Scorpion, underpowered. Uh, you got to put a shitload of bullets in somebody, and it's just not worth it, okay? Peacekeeper, of course, I love this gun. Perfect hybrid between a, an SMG and an assault rifle, and some things that you... You might not know about it is that it actually moves slower than all the other submachine guns. So definitely uh, try to put this on a mid-range map. Um, if you're really accurate, then you can put it on a uh, short-range map. MTAR, it's like it says on here. Very versatile, strong over overall. Um, basically a, um, a very versatile assault rifle. You know, pretty good for everything. Type 25... I have grown to love this gun here lately. Uh, very high fire rate. Next to nothing as far as the recoil goes in this game. I love this gun. Okay. SWAT 556. Excellent gun to use against snipers on the longer range maps. Like um, like the carrier and stuff like this. 
I love this gun. It's, it's powerful as hell, and it, it's just a beast. Okay, FAL, ever since they did the patch on it, it sucks. It sucks, even with the select fire, it still sucks. Um, however, it can do work on longer range maps, so yeah, there you go. I just think there's better choices out there. M27, once again, a, a well overall great assault rifle, extremely accurate. I've seen a lot of people put silencers on this thing. I would not bother if I were you because it doesn't have very high damage in the first place. Uh, just leave that silencer off and just wreck fools all day long. Scar H has got an extreme amount of range on it. So if you're looking for a long range gun, this is it right here. I like putting a silencer on it because it's loud as fuck, but it's a great gun. It's kind of clunky, but it's still great. SMR, same thing with the FAL. It's just, mm, it's a pain in the ass. But I do use it, and I will get to that in my um, accuracy video. But there's a little trick to my accuracy, and I'll, I'll tell you about that later. M8, if you look at the statistics on this thing, this thing should be a beast. But you will be surprised, same way with the Chicom, about how many people will take a four-round burst and still be standing. It's just, it seems way underpowered. I don't know why. Uh, some people like to put the select fire switch, but if you're going to go and use up an attachment, you might as well be using a different gun. AN-94, it's a beast. I used to sleep on this thing because the inaccuracy of it. But it's still a fucking beast. Okay, first two rounds burst, they're dead. has an extreme range to it. Uh, it's just an all-around good gun. A lot of people might be thinking to use this on a long-range map, but it's really more... It's really better suited for a mid-range map. Just if you think about AKs, you know, AKs are mid-range weapons, and that's pretty much what this is, is an AK. Okay? Now let's go into how to set up the gun, basically. Now there's two different ways you could put the attachments on your weapon. Okay? You can accentuate the good things about the weapon, or you can negate the bad things about the weapon. Like, for example, right here. Now I use quick draw handle on just about everything... But the MP7, like I said, it, it is very inaccurate at range. So what I did to negate that inaccuracy is I actually put the foregrip on there. Okay, give it a little bit more accuracy. So that's an example of negating one of the bad things on it. Okay, now to accentuate a good thing, the Type 25 has a very high fire rate. So what I did is I put the fast mag on there so I could flip out the mag real quick and have that constant fire rate at my control, okay? So really, whenever you choose a gun, look at the good points of it. Look at the bad points of it. And you can either put stuff on here that will help out the good things, or you can put stuff on here that will cancel out the bad things, okay? Like if you have... If you have, uh, here's an example of accentuating the good things. The MSMC has a long range to it. And whenever you put the suppressor on a gun, it drops off the range to it. Okay? So, being that it has long range, I can put a suppressor on here and not really be worried about it too much. So that's accentuating one of the good things. Okay? To negate the bad things on this MSMC, it is kind of sh shitty as far as accuracy goes at mid-range. So you might want to put a foregrip on it, okay? Just an example. Another example, PDW. It's got, it's got shitty accuracy at mid-range. I put a foregrip on it, okay? Now, if you want to accentuate the good things, um, it's got a pretty good amount of range to it. So you might want to make it even further range. Uh, it's got a very big clip on it, so you might want to put rapid fire, although I would not suggest that because it drops off your range 60%. Wouldn't I... Not suggest that. But you see what I'm saying here, okay? Accentuate the good things. It's got a big clip to it. So you might want to put quick draw and stock on it. You know? Make it an all-around mobile weapon. All right? Now, in my next video, I'm going to get into actually perks and, and lethals, tactical, secondaries. But for sake of keeping the video short, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to uh, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to HCU, and we will catch y'all motherfuckers next time. Peace out.